on this morning's Pet Savers brought to you by Invisible Fence. Have you seen this dog? He's a red Siberian husky and he went missing in Scriba. Please call 315-236-0109 if you've got any information or head to 9wsyr.com and click on the Pets Lost and Found link under the Bridge Street tab. Let's be honest, there's probably nothing that you wouldn't do for your furry friend, for your pet. We're talking about cats and dogs, but when is it time to draw the line? Joining us this morning on Bridge Street, our pet behavior expert, Arden Moore. Good morning. Hey, pause up, Caroline. <laughs> pause up, How I like you? that. I'm doing great. My dog, George, on the other hand, he's a bit of a bad boy. We'll talk about him in just a minute. Tell me... 8 million electronic devices destroyed every year by our pets. They're getting expensive. Why is this happening? Well, there was a survey done by Square Trade. It offers this protection plan for all your devices. And like you, I was blown away. To the tune of $3 billion is what our pets have drooled on, chewed on. We're talking smartphones, iPads, laptops. And it just really, you know, pets are really causing serious damage to very, very expensive gadgets. So I'm here to try to help you guys out, save a little money, keep your devices safe, and everybody is happy. <laughs> Yikes, I don't like the look of the screen of that cell phone right there. So tell me, what can we do no. in terms of training our pets behavior-wise and in the event that they still do whatever we want, what can we do to protect those electronic devices? Well, the Square Trade survey actually identified the four-legged culprits. They tend to be pets that are overprotective, overweight, bored, because they're home alone, nothing to do, and the pets that sleep in our beds with us. They are the ones that tend to cause most of the damage. So I say exercise your pets, get a nice protection plan to save your devices. Square Trade's very affordable. Go ahead and put lids on your drinks so that you don't have them spill on your laptop. And avoid having any outlets with dangling cords like this iPad. Now, from the feline perspective, this looks like a mouse tail. <laughs> I'm going to have to pounce on it and bite it in half. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Looks kind of familiar to me. My dog, George, he's a two-year-old golden doodle. He has eaten about six pairs of my shoes, Aww. two pairs of eyeglasses, one computer charger, and he may or may not have eaten some cash that I left up on the countertop. What do you do when your pet acts out like this? I mean, you just love him. You're trying to be a good dog mom. Right, you are, and you are being a good dog mom to George. But think about it from the dog standpoint. This device smells like you. How do our dogs investigate things? By putting their mouth on it, by pawing it. So I say you need to be a neater housekeeper. You need to keep your devices out of paws reach. You need to keep your wires bundled or in chew-proof cords. You need to get a protection plan. Can you afford to keep paying for new replacement iPhones and laptops and iPads? Unless we win the lotto, I, I think most of us say no. So we're trying to offer you some affordable solutions and have harmony in the household with those cool pets like George. <laughs> well, in closing, one last quick question for you. I'm an expecting mom bringing home a new baby this fall. Oh. And my dog has really been my baby for the last two years. Anything that I can do in preparation to keep my dog from getting super jealous? Well, make your dog your super four-legged nanny. That means make sure you have the scent of your baby's clothes and all that while you're getting ready to have the baby. Make sure that um, George gets to see what the, the nursery looks like. Always keep George on a leash a little bit when you're introducing your new baby. By the way, congratulations. Be calm. The whole goal is to make George feel like he's the big brother to your baby and not jealous. So you can do it. I know you can do it. You're going to have a great <laughs> delivery. All right, a busy household. Arden, thank you so much for those pet tips as we try to keep our furry felines and furry dogs in line. We love those animals, but sometimes they, they're kind of bad. <laughs> yeah.